What is up everybody? The Hunter GT. Here we are in Rocky Ford, Colorado. Wave to the camera, baby girl. She's playing shy today. We are at the spot where I found the 1933 Wheat Penny. This old abandoned school. And today we have a couple awesome new toys to play with. The first one is the camera I'm using. The Sony DSC. DSC, I believe? RX100? Pretty cool camera. 1080p, 60 frames a second. Desperately needed a new point and shoot camera, so I'm just checking out the video footage of it today. Should be pretty cool, hopefully. Who knows? Maybe it's trash. Anyways, the big toy of the day, something that everybody's been excited for, the Land Ranger Pro. Oh yes, it is finally in my possession. The top of the line Bounty Hunter Pro series, the Land Ranger Pro. You can find these online for about $280 to $350, roughly worth every penny. Uh, try to find them under $300. They're readily available at most places at $300 or less. If you're paying more than $300, in my opinion, you're paying too much. So haggle them down, definitely. Comes with the 11-inch DD coil. Um, running some multiple different settings today. I'm not really going to go into the settings here. Of course, I am going to be doing a review and air test for the Land Ranger Pro. It may already be up. So today we are just going to focus on the hunting and that will be that. So I already found a dime already with it. Rang up as a 64, 65 pretty repeatedly. But then a couple guys came up and interrupted my video and started chatting. He wanted to do a contract to cut down the trees, but I told him, hey, I don't own the place, I'm just here detecting. So, he took off, he was bummed that I wasn't the owner, but what can you do? So, anyways, as always, enough babbling, let's get digging with the Land Ranger Pro. Alright, well, my son actually pulled out of this hole his first coin of the day, he got himself a zinc penny, so... Pretty good stuff. He is out here today with his Bounty Hunter Gold Digger. It's a pretty awesome machine. You can have this for about $60, $50, worth every penny. Recovery speed is insane on this. It will pass Monty's nail board test. I cannot say enough good things about this detector. It is a unmasking and recovery speed freak. So I'd uh, put this up against the... Uh, a lot of machines in the 150 range and at six inches or less it will clean the parks up of coins so he's probably gonna find more coins than me today little poop huh yeah laugh it up so all right got himself his first coin today zinc penny on to the next dig good job buddy all right I am getting whooped up today here's another bounty hunter gold digger find 1981 penny he called me over, he was right next to where the zinc was. He ran his coil over again and like a like a good metal detectorist, he ran his coil all the way around where one coin was found and there was this 1981 penny right next to it. So Bounty Hunter Gold Digger finds two coins right away. All right. Don't you have some basketball to go play or something, huh? I'm yeah. out here to hunt with my Land Ranger Pro and you're uh, taking all my finds. So we got the daughter, we got the son out here today. And we are finding some more coins. Let's get back at it. Showing her how to metal detect. Keep going. Pretty cool. He's teaching her the high tones and the crackly tones. They've got it both their machines. She's using the Bounty Hunter Junior. He's using the Gold Digger, obviously. And they are disking up to about, oh, two o'clock or so. She found a key. She found a key. Found a key. Bring it over here. Hurry. Let's check it out. Run it on over. Hold on. Let me zoom out. Let me zoom out. It's not the fastest zoomer in. All right. Sweet. So you found a key, huh? What do you think it goes to? A treasure. A treasure chest? A house. A very old house. A very old house. Could be. Uh-oh. Now you did it. Now you gotta find it. Got it. There you go. So, 
The bounty hunter gold digger has found about what? How many coins have you found so far? Five. Five coins, six coins off camera. And you just found your key with your junior boy. I better catch up with my bounty hunter Land Ranger Pro here, shouldn't I? I got some digging to do. These kids are kicking my butt. Kicking my butt. Alright guys, just trying to get them involved in the videos. They're usually a little shy, so starting to open up a little bit here. They're having fun. He's teaching her how to metal detect. Told her you got to keep the coil flat, Kaylin. You got to keep the coil flat. Teaching her all the tones, and they have the bounty hunter pinpointer that they're using. So boy, they're really learning how to pinpoint with that sucker. Not the greatest pinpointer, but they're learning. And they have their little bounty hunter hand diggers as well. Fits perfectly into their hands. Too small for my hands, but uh, perfect for them. So they're having a lot of fun. All right, guys. I've uh, probably hit five, six zincs already, but I'm leaving them in the ground and I'm letting them follow behind me and hitting them. I'm putting little markers here with my shovel and he's showing her where to put them and stuff. So I'm going to head over here to where the baseball first baseline and third baseline are and see if we can actually find some coins and uh, actually show you some Land Ranger Pro footage here. <laughs> All right, guys, we're having a lot of fun though. So. On to the next dig. Well, just got a 22 long, it looks like, at a school. That's a little disconcerting, right? So, just got that. It rang up as a 34 35, 34 35, pretty hard. So, in the nickel range, I didn't know if it was a nickel or not, so I dug it. Unfortunately, not a nickel. Somebody's out here is target practicing, hopefully. Yeah, pretty crazy. Don't like finding those at schools ever. Alright guys, on to the next. Well, my son's kicking my butt still. He went and put his detector away. Smart ass, saying, uh, Oh, gee, Dad, I'll leave some coins for you. I'm getting tons of coins. He's found like eight coins, all zinc so far. I uh, I went over like five or six of them and left them there for him and the daughter. But uh, so this thing's hitting zincs like crazy out here. Just found another one. Um, so one thing I noticed with these, and this one's pretty deep, probably about three inches down um, for a 2003. Um, pretty weird that I found a wheat penny here at a couple inches and then zincs at a couple inches too So it just goes to show you there's all sorts at all sorts of depths. So uh, Anyways, zincs are ringing up right at 55 57 so something to note um, If you're looking for zinc pennies I don't know why you would or if you want to notch them out or discriminate them because they are annoying uh, 55 57 seems to be the call on these so a little travelly here and there, but 55 57 is what it's coming up as so just thought I'd note that for anybody interested All right, let's get back at it All right, got a pretty strong 67 here, 68. So we're going to see it's right there. Let's see what we got here. A little bit deeper still. Stand up here for a second. There it is, right there. All right, so copper penny, 1977. Came out looking pretty nice there, so not bad, not bad. All right, so 67, 68. That was the copper penny number, 67, 68. All right, I'm gonna have to write these numbers down, right? <laughs> All right, guys, let's get some more. All right, guys, digging a few trash signals today. Um, aluminum range, foil, actually not foil. I have it notched up all the way out to right underneath nickel so I guess foil's gone but a lot of aluminum range here and sometimes you know you get surprised so not a ring or anything but kind of a cool little kids pendant it says you scare me it's got like a little I don't know what that is like a beetle a ladybug 
a frog. I don't know what it is. So on the back, it's just a uh, real hammered, looks dented in. It's rusty on the tip here, so it looks like it's some sort of stainless steel covered with whatever to make it shine. But yeah, oh, and I just went to go brush it off, and it broke right in half. So. It's been in here for quite a while. It's starting to rust through and it looks like, yeah, it's just pot metal actually. Now that it broke off, you can see right there that, yeah, it's just pot metal. So nothing of any value, probably a little vending machine find or whatever, but there it is. You scare me. Rang up right as a 47, I want to say. I want to say it was 47. 45, 47, I want to say. So... I have to correct myself, I'm not sure. Alright guys, enough babbling. Back at it. Alright, got another zinc penny. It's really a lot of zincs here at this school. Um, I know it closed down a while back, but I think a lot of kids still come and play here. Um, some of these zincs are after the school shut down actually. So, uh, But anyways, a lot of zincs. This one hitting right at a... 52, 53, so they're hitting right in the low 50, in the 50 range for zincs, right underneath the dimes which start in the 60 range, so pretty cool, just something to note, this one was hitting a solid 52, 53, it was about 2 inches down there, alright guys, on to the next. Alright, another cool pendant or button, this rang up as a quarter right here right in the quarter range so it's about an 82 pretty pretty good 82 it was about five inches down there and it pinpointed right at five inches so pretty impressive not sure it still has the button loop on the back has some markings that I can't make out maybe the camera can there I'm not sure I'll have to get it home when I rinse it off has some letters on the front but don't really want to scuff it up so I'm not sure what it is I'm not really gonna rub it too much or anything all right, pretty cool. Came right in the bottom like that. Scooped it right out. All right, guys, pretty neat stuff here today. Liking this school so far. Loving the Land Ranger Pro today. I already found two pendants. I don't usually dig trash stuff. Uh, I usually notch out anything other than five cents and, you know, ten cents and higher. So the silver range I leave in and I notch in five cent. I disc out foil, iron, aluminum, pull tabs. I disc out, notch out all that stuff usually. But digging a lot of stuff today. Too much for the camera. I mean, I'd have hours of footage from what I'm digging trash and can slaw, everything like that. But anyways, pretty freaking cool. Here's a little bit of a close-up, hopefully. All right, guys. Let's keep at it. Almost wrapped up here at this spot. All right, everybody. Back at the house. Excuse the sound of the washing machine. It just started draining right as I hit record, but that's how it goes usually. So, all right. Got the count for today. Uh, my son did pretty good with his Bounty Honey Gold Digger. He got a, a copper penny, a dime, and one, two, three, four, five zinc. So seven total, and he called it a day. Pretty good. Uh, I actually got one more than him. I got one copper, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven zincs. So I got eight coins. He got seven. I made sure to rub that in his face, of course, uh, you know, being the proud father I am. So, here are the little pendants that I found. The You Scare Me pendant that I broke, unfortunately. That was pretty terrible. Let's see if that focuses in. There we go. So, You Scare Me cleaned it up a little bit. And this is actually supposed to be like a coat of arms uh, with some French writing on it. I'm going to put up on the left hand side there what it means and I'm not going to try to pronounce French and do the uh, translation myself because it'll be a butcher job so put that pretty cool little button though um, it's real light I think it's like pot metal or aluminum nothing silver nothing awesome that I thought it would be of course you know you see something like that you're like oh my goodness gracious awesome but just pot metal um, kind of similar to that real light real lightweight so and there is the key that the daughter found. It is a guard key, it says, on one side there. See if we can get it to focus. No. 
There we go. Guard security. So she's pretty stoked about that. So it's to the treasure chest, you know. And then, of course, there's the 22 shell. So, all right, pretty fun day with the Land Ranger Pro. I didn't show too much of the face or the numbers as I was sweeping today, just the finds themselves like normal. I did that intentionally for the fact that I haven't done the review yet and I haven't shown it on Monty's nail board test or anything. I haven't done, you know, a proper air test and review like I normally do with the detectors that I own. So, wanted to get that in there first. So, Keep an eye on for that video. It should be up tomorrow. Um, I should get that review done and get it up sometime tomorrow or the next day. So Sunday, Monday, look out for that. I should have this one up tonight by Saturday evening. All right, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Got the Land Ranger Pro and the new camera here shooting 1080p, 60 frames a second, the Sony RX100. So pretty good stuff. Hopefully it gives my uh, videos a little more pop, uh, a little better audio. Sometimes the audio is too good. I can hear myself breathing and uh, my lips smacking. So I had gum in my mouth all day today. I got back. Oh no. So apologize for all that, but you know, that's how it goes. So all right, got the Land Ranger Pro, the Sony camera. Life is good right now. I will see you guys in a day or two for the review. And of course, probably I might even squeeze another live dig in before that. So all right, enough babbling. I will see you on the next video.